guess who just went to Indianapolis for NBA All-Star Weekend? It was me. I had a whole row to myself. Not that I needed the other side, but I have a story for you guys about this trip. So I'm kind of stuck in Charlotte at the moment. Um, it's been a terrible morning. My flight from New Orleans was supposed to leave at 5.30. And my flight attendants didn't get to the gate until 6.11. And then we still didn't leave until about 7.10 or 7.15. And I missed my connecting flight in Charlotte um, by maybe like 20 minutes. And before I landed, they had rebooked me but for tomorrow and I got to get to the games and stuff tonight so tomorrow is not going to work um, so they rebooked me for tomorrow I'm trying to talk to different agents like the gate that I was supposed to go to of course they there's no one there I go to a different gate there's no one at that gate and then I go to our other gate and the lady's like oh well you need to go to customer service because this gate is for going to somewhere else and I'm like okay so I go to the customer service line and that line is like just flat out not moving so while I'm in the line, I'm looking on the American Airlines app, and in the app, uh, initially there was nothing for me to rebook, like besides tomorrow, and I guess that's why they originally put me on tomorrow. So there was no other options except for Saturday. And today's Friday. I have places to be Friday night. So I'm looking in the app, and I try to look at the rebook options again, and something on Friday pops up. But the thing for Friday is... It's like 9.30 in the morning at this point, right? The time I'm recording the video is like 11.02, but it's like 9.30, 9.40 at that point. Um, something popped up for today around 1 o'clock. So I'm going to leave around 1 and I have to go to Philadelphia. And then from Philadelphia, I'll go to Indianapolis. Um, and I'm supposed to land at 6.30. Yeah. And the uh, Rising Stars and everything starts at 8.30. So I should still get there in time to see Hawk and all the other festivities, but um, they really, really threw a wrench in my plans today. And it sucks because I'm like tweeting about, you know, being stuck at the airport and things like that. And, um, you know, for the most part, no one really knows about this trip. Like there's a few people that know, but it's kind of ruining the surprise for me, I feel like. And, and, and it's, it's not a really, it's not a huge deal. It's still going to be cool. It'll still be really well received, yeah, so but you, it just um, sucks for them to be ruining the start of the trip. And I'm like and crying in the airport because I'm like, I don't know. I only ever like flew Southwest. This is my second time on American Airlines. Um, I would normally do Southwest and there's like no real issues. And I might have gotten a flight delayed and canceled one time with Southwest, but they pretty much are really good about taking care of people. And today, my flight attendants Our and the gate agents were just like, tough tit, you know? <laughs> so, um, it sucks, I'm sure. Hopefully, the rest of the trip will be good as long as I can get out of Charlotte and get to Indianapolis in a timely fashion. So, I felt like if I'm going to be vlogging, that I should go ahead and make this video and add it into what's going on and let you guys kind of get a first-hand look at uh, what today's been like. But sidebar, I'm sitting right outside of Dylan's Candy Bar, who has the chocolate-covered gummy bears. If y'all ever heard me talk about the chocolate-covered gummy bears, I know it sounds disgusting, but it's really good. I think my mouth might be watering right now. I'm talking about... I don't know that it's appropriate for me to be buying these gummy bears at 11 o'clock in the morning. Maybe I'll buy some, and then uh, I'll have it later on tonight, a midnight snack or something. But... I'm already exhausted. Like, in 30 minutes from now, I should be landing in Indianapolis. But instead, oh, okay. I'm just going to be but hanging out in Charlotte for a, a while. So, so that one, that we'll have stay tuned. So I grabbed myself a couple of snacks. I got the chocolate-covered gummy bears like I was talking about, and I got some of those, like, cinnamon pretzel bites or whatever. Um, had to get some ginger ale. That's my go-to when I get on these flights. They ask me what I want to drink, I get ginger ale. But this is the face of someone who just woke up and thought they were landing in Indianapolis, and it turns out they ended up in Chicago. Like, look at this screenshot. We were in Indianapolis, man. We were there, and they turned, and we diverted to Chicago because apparently in Indianapolis, planes were landing, but no planes were taking off. So we didn't have a gate 
to get off the plane at. So instead of us landing there and just waiting, we went <laughs> to Chicago instead. We stayed on the ground for an hour, but this is what it looked like in Indianapolis when we got there, snow everywhere. So it's 9.30 p.m. in Indianapolis and my ears feel stopped up. It's 9.30, I was supposed to land here at 11.30 this morning and I took four flights to get here instead of two. Um, it was just supposed to be New Orleans to Charlotte to Indiana, and it ended up being New Orleans to Charlotte to Philly to Chicago <laughs> to Indiana. And uh, I had tickets to Rising Stars tonight to see Jordan Hawkins, and the game started, it's going on right now, and I'm missing it. So, so much for, you know, kind of dropping this surprise on everybody of me going here, because I didn't even tell a lot of people I was coming. Um, so American Airlines pretty much effectively ruined it uh, by their three flight attendants being like an hour late for my flight this morning leaving New Orleans. They ruined it. They ruined the whole thing. But there's always uh, tomorrow. I have tickets for tomorrow. But um, tonight I guess we just go to dinner. But this sucks. So as expected, we went ahead to dinner. Uh, definitely had to get a picture on this basketball court. I love that they put this court inside of the airport. But check out dinner. So yeah, that, <laughs> that Mexican restaurant was crazy, but it was a really good time. So. Yeah, now that the sun has come up, you can see more of how much it snowed in Indianapolis before I got there. So I went out with my friend to this bakery called Amelia's. Um, I got this, um, like it's like a croissant cinnamon roll. It was really good. It was a cool little coffee shop. Um, I've spent a lot of time in my day in an assortment of different coffee shops, but this one had a really nice vibe to it. couple of different activations around town like this Cheetos one that I believe was with Scoot Henderson and Puma um, I didn't get to go into anything like that but next time I go to all-star weekend I definitely got to be prepared um, you know I got to show you what I had for lunch um, that was some sort of like stuffed breadsticks it was really cool but went back to the crib hung out for a little while and then headed over to Lucas Oil um, I think I must have got there like right before the doors open because it was insane when I pulled up but getting inside of Lucas Oil um, the place is massive. I don't spend a lot of time in like football stadiums. Um, and so it was like crazy to walk up in there and like, it, it's just like going to a basketball game at the Superdome basically. But in Lucas Oil is where they had this, um, this LED court. And I thought it was funny that like it said welcome on the court and it's like, it's, it's, it's scrolling across the court in one direction. And I'm like, what if you can't read good upside down, bro? Why don't you put welcome the other way when you scroll it? one way you know what I, I don't know i don't know if any of what i'm saying makes sense but it's an led court you can do whatever you want with it but check out some footage from all-star saturday it's time for state farm all-star saturday night come on follow, it's on the floor it's on the court man follow <laughs> Oh, come on. We got 20 seconds on the clock left. Not a lot of time. Let's go up 20 already. Okay. Oh, no. What was that? 36, 40, we're under 10 seconds now. Let's go. One of the balls came out. Three seconds. Two. One. Down and out. He's got 
There's another one. Yes. Money ball is on. Yes. Come on, he got to make all these. Oh my goodness, Dave. You gotta hit that. Hey! Uh-oh. Got 19. Lucas Oil right now. I got mad beef with Mac McClung, man. He, in the, in the final, I think it was in the final, but in one of them rounds, he did Trey Murphy's dunk. Like, you beat, you allegedly beat Trey Murphy last year, and you did one of his dunks and got like a 48 or something like that. I'm tired of this dude, man. And he like, he's 25 years old. He been on like three different G League teams. And it's like, they're keeping him around so he can keep being in the in the dunk contest. So they asked him if he's going to be back next year. He said he can't. He's not going to say no, but he's not going to say yeah either. So I don't know. Tonight was fun, though. I think the dunk contest shouldn't be, like, the final thing of the night. I think the three-point shootout should be. And I don't know if they're going to change it. So, But it was fun. I'm glad I was able to come. I don't have tickets for tomorrow. So we'll see where the day leads me. Shout out to my boy, CJ Toledano. I'm so glad that I finally got to meet him in person. Y'all go check out Follow Through. But speaking of follow through, the follow through on me playing digital darts was trash. I never played darts, so first time for everything. So we finished, we were doing that for the rest of the night. And then next morning I got woke up by this massive dog in my face. She's really sweet, but she was just all up in my face. <laughs> so we went to brunch. Um, I had these breakfast tacos, uh, some candy bacon, which was delicious. Went back to the crib, hung out with the other dog who was much more chill, but still up in my space. Went to dinner at this place called Titanium, which is a crazy name for a Thai restaurant, but I love it. And I got some drunken noodles. Those were awesome. Another activation that I missed that I just didn't know about, but all in all, NBA All-Star Weekend. It was my first time being able to go to one out of town. It was awesome. American Airlines tried to ruin that joint, but I prevailed. Till next time.